vintage GE P726 transistor radio. We're actually revisiting this radio. We worked on it, oh, in early in the year, and it had a bad converter transistor in the front end, and this uses NPN germanium transistors, which are sort of rare. They're not very common like PNP germanium and I received a lot of good information in the comments about Russian substitutes for NPN germanium and I started to look into it and I would always been a fan of the Russian stuff because I've they, they just the transistors seem to be really good and they were made uh, much later than the American and Japanese parts so they're a lot fresher um, so I ordered at the time I ordered a whole bunch of suggested transistors to try in this radio and that's what we're going to do today and the war all I can say is the world is so unstable right now that getting anything shipped from anywhere is just it might happen and it might not it might take six months it might take three months so don't just you can't depend on anything so these are the transistors we got and we're gonna try these this is a KT368 this is a 900 megahertz silicon what I did with this radio because I didn't have a suitable NPN germanium I converted it to silicon by changing the bias and it still doesn't work right so we're gonna experiment with these different transistors it works 90 percent I'll show you the issue uh, GT 341 V these are a little bit pricey uh, this is a 1.5 gigahertz NPN germanium uh, GT 311 E these became these the GT 311 and the GT 311 ZH both came highly recommended and I think one's a let me look. This is a 450 megahertz. This is a 600 megahertz. So these are all pretty fast. They're all low voltage. These are like 12 volt. They're all battery powered 12 volt transistors. So we'll use this to identify the leads on them. And let's take a listen to Ellie Oldies on this. The volume control is bad in this, but as you can hear, this is semi-distorted. So the weaker stations are a little bit distorted. So we're going to try these transistors and see if we get any performance or distortion difference. So for good measure, let's check the batteries. We're at 4.6 volts. That's good for three batteries. This was my previous modification. I put a... Uh, was a 33k in there and I took lifted the 47 out to use a silicon transistor the 33k gives a a little bit more bias since it's a higher bias voltage 0.6 instead of 0.2 or 3 so what I'll do is I'll pull this out uh, and I'll take that transistor out and then we'll start Got to finger it a little bit. Okay, this is the KT368. This is still silicon, so I haven't changed the bias. And it's still a little distorted. It's not distorted on the stronger stations. I'm gonna, let me try KNX. So you can here it's clean. It's so let's go to a germanium now and the other bias. Even Radio Country Disney sounds clean. It's just 
it's just LA Oldie sounds distorted. So maybe I'm chasing a problem that I, you know, can't really fix. But on some radios, it sounds clean. So, okay, so this transistor goes into full oscillation at the top of the band. Someone mentioned putting a ferrite bead on one of the leads. Yeah, we got KNX showing up multiple places on the band again. Okay, I'm gonna go to Germanium now on that midnight train to Georgia. Okay, this is the GT311. Ooh, no distortion. And that's with the lower bias. Let me go to the right bias. Weird, I think it sounded clean with the the 33K. Let me try that. This transistor sounds clean with the 33K and not the 47K and the germanium transistor. Okay, this is the GT341 1.5 gigahertz germanium. You imagine a germanium that goes to 1.5 gigs uh, NPN and it's distorted and it's even worse with the 47k Boy, this seems to be the combination here. The 33K with the GT311ZH. But it goes into oscillation, so I'm going to have to try and adjust the tuning capacitor and get rid of that. That's almost a little bit too hot. I think I found a decent compromise here uh, for performance and distortion, which is the GT311E and the 47K resistor. So I'm going to leave it at that. I probably could have made those leads a little shorter, but whatever, it's working. Great to be back for yet another day, another three-hour excursion into broadcast excellence. Rush Limbaugh, your guiding light. America's real anchor man, revved and ready. Rush, Rush is program. clean and distortion-free, thanks to the CCCP. There is a strategic communications firm out there. Another attempt at shaping public opinion rather than reflecting it because i can't I, I i don't i just refuse to believe that most americans support this insanity that we see out there but then we have to ask ourselves do the average american does the average american even see it? i saw footage today 
of Portland, Oregon. Government.com at 1-800-2-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-